the equation a to the x plus 4 is equal to 4 to the x plus 2 to the x plus 2 has how many solutions? This exponential equation is from the Oxford University math admission test back in 2007. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. I will tell you though, the answer to this question is 2, because we have 2 solutions. But the funny part is that the answers are 0 and 1, because x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 will solve the equation. So you have to be careful when you select your final answer on the multiple choice. But anyway, let's solve this. Notice we have three different bases, 8, 4, and 2. But it's okay, because we can write the 8 as 2 to the third power, and then raise that to the x power, and then keep the plus 4, and do the same thing with the 4. Write the s, 2 to the second, and then the x power. And then for this part, Notice we have x plus 2 in the power, we can break it down as 2 to the x times 2 to the 2 by the rule of exponent. Now, we can multiply the powers and power right here, so we get 2 to the 3x plus 4 equal to 2 to the 2x plus, let's write down 2 to the second first, which is 4, and then we have 2 to the x. Now. Let me move these two terms to the other side. We get 2 to the 3x. Let me put this down next. Minus 2 to the 2x. Put this to the other side, we get negative, right? Minus right here, 4 times 2x. And then plus 4. And that is equal to 0. So we did this because we want to have one side equal to 0. And as you can see right here, it looks like we still have an exponential equation. But the truth is, we can look at this as a cubic equation, but in terms of 2 to the x. Because for the first part, we can write it as 2 to the x first, and then raise that to the third power. Next, we can write this down as minus 2 to the x, and then to the second power. Yeah, Earlier we did the 2 to the third and then x, right now we have 2 to the x and then third. And the same thing here, just minus 4 times this is just 2 to the x, and then plus 4 equal to 0. Now, all this right here are 2 to the x. We can do a quick substitution. I will say let t equal to 2 to the x. So we get t to the third power minus t squared minus 4 times t plus 4 is equal to 0. We have a cubic equation now, and this right here is factorable by grouping. So let's look at the first two terms. We can factor out t squared, and then we get t minus 1. And then for these two terms, notice we have a minus in between here. Go ahead and write that down right away. 4 and 4, we factor out 4, but we are really factoring out negative 4. So originally this term divided by negative 4, we get positive t. 4 divided by negative 4, we get minus 1. Now, factor by grouping. Then we can see that the t minus 1 is in common, so we can factor that out. And then we get the next part is t squared minus 4. And that's equal to 0. Keep factoring it, this is t minus 1, difference of 2 squares, t minus 2 times t plus 2, and that will give us 0. Okay, so we just have to make this equal to 0, make that equal to 0, and make that equal to 0, and then solve for t's. So for the first one, we know t equals 1 will work. For the second one, t equals 2, and for the third one, t equals negative 2. But what did I say? The answer was 2. Yes, be careful with it. Right here, we are not solving for t. We ideally want the x. t is 2 to the x. So, we have 2 to the x equals 1, 2 to the x equals 2, and then 2 to the x equals negative 2. For this right here, you can look at it 2 to what power is equal to 1? 
the answer for that is x has to be equal to 0. 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. That's the only choice. 2 to what power is equal to 2? Well, 2 to the first power is equal to 2. So x is equal to 1. But 2 to the x is equal to negative 2. The answer is not negative 1, though. Be careful. This right here, if we have 2 to the negative 1, it actually gives us 1 over 2. Negative power tells you to divide the 2. Yeah? Do 1 over. So this right here, in fact, it's not possible. So say, hmm, not possible with real numbers. You can do with complex numbers, but we are not talking about that. So we have 0 and 1 for the answers. So how many solutions do we have? Technically, we have two solutions, real solutions. So I will just say the answer, we have two real solutions. So that's it.